This is Mizo official channel. Has Assam's conspiracy uncovered? An article by Mr. D. R. Zirliana, editor, Mizo Daily Newspaper. We all know the recent unfortunate armed border clashes between the police forces of both Assam and Mizoram, culminating in the death of six Assam police personnel on the fateful day of the 26th July 2021. That incident was preceded by frequent border incursions by the Assam police into the land holdings, farmlands and cultivated areas of the rural people of North Mizoram. These frequent and unprovocative raids by the Assam police and officials resulted in the destruction of their valuable gardens, plantations, fish ponds and burning of their farmhouses and then illegally occupied and set up their duty post. These occupied farmlands rightfully belong to the Mizo people by inheritance from their ancestors. Devoid of their livelihood, the well-settled village farmers became landless and are now starving for no fault of theirs. Not content with such unlawful occupations of Mizo lands at several places, a strong force of 200 heavily armed policemen of Assam, commanded by a high-level inspector general of police, a district commissioner and the police superintendent of both neighbouring Kachar district had literally invaded Mizoram by overrunning border posts manned by a contingent of CRPF and then capturing the small detachment of Mizoram police outpost on the outskirt of the border village of Vairengte. On hearing the hostile entrance of Assam police into their village, the villagers flocked together on the spot and had a physical scuffle with the police. In the ensuing fish fight, the Sam police resorted to lati charge, tear gas and even throwing life hand grenade at the crowd. And then not content with that, the Sam police fired towards the crowd in which one boy from wiring they received bullet injury on his thigh. The public dispersed, while the redoubled Mizoram police in return were forced to fire back in defence of the people. The firing on both sides lasted for some 47 minutes leading to the deaths of six Assam police personnel and several casualties. One video showed that the operating commander of the Mizoram police, seeing the desperate situation from his vantage point, showed his counterparts telling them to move towards the safe place. When the Assam policeman commanding the light machine gun posted high a white flag at the tip of his gun indicating surrender, the well-disciplined Mizoram policemen stopped shooting out of respect for their condition. This, in a nutshell, is the whole story of the bloody encounter between the much larger forces of Assam and the smaller forces of the Mizoram police. This bloody encounter then let loose an unprecedented media war launched by the main architect of this whole failed episode, Mr. Himanta Biswa Sarma, who accused the Mizoram police of firing first and making his forces victim. But he did not realize that the encounter was fully covered by numbers of video films at close range by the civilians. They showed that Assam police were to blame for firing first. He then accused that a number of Mizo civilians for holding arms and ammunition and were freely moving around, so that entering into Mizoram is too risky. He then ordered the Assamese not to venture into Mizoram. But the fact remains that every people of Assam are living in Mizoram freely like any other people. On the other hand, Mr. Himanta Biswa Sarma was declared by public to be the biggest liar. He kept on lying one after the other. His next and hateful attack against the Mizos, who refused to be bowed down by his show of strength, was to close the National Highway 306 and the railway connecting into Mizoram. Since the last so many years, the Assam state has taken their geographical advantage to enforce economic blockade with the intention of forcing the entire Mizo population into starvation, death for no fault of us. This provocative plan of mass starvation as political measure against the same Indian citizen is inhuman and cruel. Yet another action on the part of Mr. Himanta's BJP government is equally provocative in that all vehicles belonging to the Mizo people found inside Assam state are subjected to be thoroughly searched on the plea that Mizoram is a channel for carrying drugs into Assam. If we do the fact check, a greater portion of the illicit drugs are brought in from Assam into Mizoram. While we cannot deny that there are illicit drugs agents on both sides, it is really a bad intent to victimize the whole Mizo people as potential drugs agent. Finally, the different states of the Northeast have cordial relations between one another 
and we have been called seven sisters. However, the recent policy of border incursion carried on by the new and present Chief Minister of Assam has already destroyed confidence, trust and good neighbourliness. This is a very unfortunate development from bad to worse. Last but not least is the fact as a peaceful loving tribe, the Mizo people cherish in being good citizens of the Union of India. Ever since the signing of an agreement between the Government of India with the Mizo National Front who had been fighting for a separate independent state for two decades, we have been faithfully adhering to the terms of the agreement and also the constitution of India. Therefore, the people of Mizoram believe in resolving all disputes and settling all misunderstandings amicably in a spirit of trust and friendship as we are all good citizens of India.